Hello YouTube, what's going on today? So, I got these two new trucks and I want to get some tires swapped. Um, this one here, 75 Chevy, stock wheels and tires, it's nothing special. Um, trying to get it to where the glare is not on it. Stock wheels and tires, so we're just going to change them out. Um, as you can see, I've already popped them. And then after I popped the wheels, <clears throat> I took my Dremel to it and I did some grinding to flatten out the pumpkins. I got the front one there, spin it around, flattened out the back one. And then after I flattened them out with my Dremel, I took my flat file and just went across both of them just to make sure everything was nice and smooth and there was no bumps anywhere so I got that done and then I already cut my brass stock my brass tubing um, cut that to fit so now it's just a matter of gluing that on and when you glue it on just make sure that that hole lines up exactly with the other hole and then you'll be in good shape. And then you got to make sure it's just exactly the same on both sides. Because if you're not, your tires will be cockeyed. So you got to make sure it's nice and perfectly straight on both sides. And then rule of thumb is I try to cut my brass stock as wide as the chassis. Um, these are just a smidgen wider. But shouldn't make that much of a difference. I'm not that much wider. So, my donation truck um, is coming off of this new Ford that I just bought. Um, and again, um, I made life easier for me. I've already loosened these tires so that they just pop right off. So, now that we've got the tires off the donator truck, you determine where you want the tires on the new truck. Now, I've just gone straight through the same hole. That don't look bad, but there's no lift to it, and the fender, the tires are really tight up in there. So, if you flatten out the bottom of the axle, you can get this tire under there. Gives it a nice lift. Gives it a nice look. It's going to look pretty sweet once it's done. So, that's that one. That one's just a matter of getting it glued together with the axles on, and it and it is done. Now, project number two is my Ace Ventura Chevy S10. Um, this one is a little more difficult because it is a monster truck, so we need to get that chassis off of there. And as usual, I've already beached to that and I've already popped that sucker off. The good thing is, is there's holes drilled in the bottom of the truck. And these mostly just for the most part snap into the holes in the bottom of the truck. So um, I have a pair of side cuts. Go out here and show you. Real small, thin, thin pair. Um, I bought these from, I think I got these from... Hobby Lobby, maybe. Uh, I think you can get them anywhere. I think they're called jewelers, cutters, or whatever. Really, really fine tip. They cut really small. Um, you work those in underneath those plastic pieces, and it pops them right out. So, we've got this taken off. Um, and it looks like they've already have a raised rail there for us. Um, I've decided that since... The color of this almost matches the color of these wheels off of this M2 GMC. I'm going to use those wheels. Kind of a desert sand kind of a look. And again, I did the same thing. I've already loosened these tires so that they'll come off easy. So there's that one. And you know what? I think that's the last original one I have left. I think I've already stripped all the other ones. So, stick... One will set together here just temporarily just to see what she's going to look like. 
and I can already tell we're probably going to have to raise it up just a little bit more and we're going to have to shorten that axle a little bit that sticks out too much for me I don't like that so we'll shorten the axle a little bit suck that wheel up under the fender a little bit make it look a little better and it looks like we're going to have to raise it up just a little bit more just so that these will clear the fenders how does it look on the back on the back about the same way we'll have to shorten the axle because as you can see it's way too wide so we'll just shorten that a little bit tuck it up under the fender a little bit more and then what we'll do is we'll jack it up a little bit more so that it'll clear the fender right now you can't tell but it's it's dragging on that fender it won't roll oh no actually it's not dragging on the fender there's a little rail inside the inside the truck right there with those little barbs on it it's, it's hitting that so I don't know you know how much that would take to grind and grind all that shit out of there yeah so we're just going to jack it up a little bit so that it clears those I'm trying to make it so you can see I know my camera skills aren't the greatest so yeah we'll just jack that up just a little bit more it's going to be a high set in S10 they all look pretty good on those M2 tires they almost match So that's what it's going to be for that truck. Oh, I just realized we got a, a bent light. Got two bent lights. Damn, that one's bent too. Got to be careful with this thing. It's a little fragile. That's what I'm working on for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, don't forget to go check out stuff on eBay. Yeah, that's going to look real good once that's done. Those tires match that paint pretty daggone good, don't they? So, yeah, don't forget to go check out my eBay stuff. Um, I'll leave a link below again. Um, we've got this Chevy Monte Carlo on there right now. I'm fixing to add a couple more. Um, please be patient with me being slow um, and not putting on my good stuff yet. Um, no offense, but I like to draw a little traffic before I start putting on my good trucks because... Um, it, let's just say if this sells for a dollar, uh, I will, I will be a little upset, but I'll, I'll live with it. I can deal with that, but, um, I'd be highly ticked off if this truck only went for a dollar when I've got so much in it. You understand? I hope you understand. So I'm going to draw a little traffic, get some people showing up to this eBay site before I start putting on those bigger, more expensive trucks. So, again, I hope you all understand. And I hope you all find something you like there and buy something and make all this hassle I've gone through worth it. Y'all have a good day.